Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Congrexus Prime coming at you with another State of the K2 Nightmare Zone, episode 74. Day should be somewhere around 61. Now, we're going to start this right off the bat, guys. Right off the bat. I was left a comment saying that there's a way for you to see the actual day instead of the K. That what I'm saying, that I don't know what day it is, is not correct. So, let's go to Manage Community right here. It says day 60, right here. Right? That's the day it says here. Let's click on to the Better Angels and let's get this show going, guys. Because this is going to be a more entertaining episode. On the last episode, I, I demonstrated how jacked up this update is. And I think I got my point across. This episode, I'm just going to start recording how many parts I'm burning. And, uh, oh yeah, look at this. This is it's a good way to start the game. We have two damage weapons. I am not worrying about repairing this. Matter of fact, I'm just going to salvage it. Don't care. So we started the game today using 70 parts. Right off the go. Let's repair. This is how I'm going to keep tabs on what I'm doing in this game. We're going to repair this gun. Minus 42 parts. Right, because this is the gun we're gonna use with Cobra. We're, we're, and as a matter of fact, I'm not even I'm not even gonna use this gun. I'm gonna go OG on you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how crazy, um, how crazy this this game has has become. No, no, we're not gonna salvage. Chill out. I wanna repair, dude. Why is it not letting me repair? There we go. 68 parts. Let's just keep let's just keep tallying this up. This is all from last game. So, if you guys saw last game, I I was using guns. I was uh, using that 22 and 22 rounds. You know, I wasn't really using a real gun per se. So we're we're gonna start doing that now. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Let's put an awesome let's put an awesome suppressor on this. Let's not even like beat around the bush. You know, let's put an awesome suppressor on here. Um, since I have my radar up, you're gonna be able to see the reverberations of this of this great nine mm gun. And uh, boom, gravy train. All right, we're still in the light conditions, and my my biggest complaint about this game is not really whoa, what the heck happened here, dude? Why did I lose my, uh, that's good. My biggest complaint about this update, it's, it's not really the sound reverberations that these guns make, which are kind of messed up. And it's not the fact that I can turn a 22 into a 50 caliber. It's the, it's the amount of parts that I'm consuming if I was to play this game the way I play the game. And some people will say, well, yeah, man, you can just use a crossbow. Sure, I can, you know? I can use a revolver too. Sure, I can. I can use a bolt action rifle. But is that the way I want to play the game? And the answer to you guys is no. That's not the way I want to play the game. You can play that way and it's fun for you. But, you know, crossbows are to me cheese, bro. There's no consequence in firing a crossbow. You have zero consequences. You fire a crossbow, the zombies don't know you. You can take a whole herd of zombies with a repeating crossbow and them not react to you one time if you stay if you stay crushed like this they won't react to you i mean that's your cup of tea more power to you you know but don't come at me telling me that your way of playing is the way i need to play the game because i don't come at nobody telling them how they need to play their game you know what i'm saying second there was a comment here that says if i look at my community tab I see exactly what day it is. Well, let's look. We're definitely going to look through this. Hmm. It says here, resources. 21, 19, 19, 14, 32. Parts. Influence. Red talent points. Community. Morale. Effects. Threat level. Where in here do I see what day it is? The answer is there isn't. There isn't a way for me to tell 
what freaking day it is right here it doesn't tell me what day it is i don't know what day it is in this game i've never known so there's no way to tell what day it is even on the save file it's lying to you when the save file said it was day 60 i promise you it's going to turn over to day 62 as soon as we get some daylight so you know I, th th these are educating moments, I guess, for me. I, 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 I appreciate the comments, but like, I, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I and I know this game's faults, and I'm always complaining about the little stuff, like the stuff that I think that a, a quality of life that would make this game better. And that's why I'm like, hey, under last, why don't you give us what day it is? You know. It's not that I'm trying to be a douchebag. It's the truth, guys. I don't know what day it is. I never do. I start these episodes up. I don't know what day it is. I, I think I know, but I don't know. But enough of that. Let's go kill some infestations. Let's go see what missions we could uh, we could accomplish today. Hell, I might be switching leaders. In fact, I might be doing that right now. What's, what's her uh, ability? She just gives two labor. It's not that big of a deal to switch leaders. Uh... Long may she reign, will be the leader. Let's go ahead and um, demote leader. Yep, we're going to demote her. And, um, oh, Cobra's tired. Look at that. Good thing I didn't go out there because I would have been, been pretty mad. Where the heck is this uh, person at? What the fudge? Okay, it's to the right in the middle somewhere. So she must be laying down. Oh, there she is. Yeah, we're going to demote you. Not because I don't like her. It's because um, there's something I wanted to do for a while. So, Long may she reign. Let's put... Oh, Trish didn't take it too bad. Come on, Trish. You're going to be my leader again. Don't worry. You're the only traitor I got, so... When we when we switch maps in the future, you'll you'll be leader again, Trish. It ain't nothing personal. Alright? It's not it's nothing personal, boo. Alright, let's go ahead and put cover for home defense here. Cause I was about to go out and do stuff, but he got tired of me. I guess I used him last last episode a little too much. Let's put a fifty cal on the table. Hell, you don't even need fifty cows anymore, guys. All I gotta do is put a twenty two and a break and I'm and I'm and I'm be golden. I'm golden, guys. All right, so let's pick another character. I don't want to pick Kagri, guys, because I don't want a character that has mitigations to damage. I don't, I don't want to use that because it's, it's gonna throw, out, it's gonna throw out the wrong signal. You know, I want a, I want a character that has zero mitigation, uh, to gun, to gunplay. So that way you guys can see how crazy and how fast I'm gonna be going through these, uh, through these weapons. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up uh, the custom. This is a little little heavier than the Piranha, but um, I like this gun. It's fun. Actually, you know what? I might just bring the spec out. It's a little heavier. As a professional break, nah. This, I'll, I'll bring this one. It's fine. We'll, we'll stay on. We'll, we'll stay on course. I just, you know, I'm gonna use a nine millimeter. Then I'm gonna use uh, like an eight K or something like that. And and um, I, I just want to show you guys the sheer amount of parts that you're gonna go through in this game. And um, and I think at the end of the day, that's that's kind of like the the deciding factor early on, the de facto, you know, the 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 one thing that's gonna hold everybody back. I don't care what your play style is, you know, unless you're running around with a crossbow bolt action rifle, um, you're 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 gonna you're gonna slow the beginning part of this game to a crawl in Nightmare Zone, guys. This is all Nightmare Zone. Normal mode, you guys probably not not even feeling it. You know, there's probably hardly any difference to you guys in nightmare in, in normal zone. You know, like you're probably saying, "Why? Why is this guy crying so much?" You know. And um, if you're playing in normal zone, you know, you probably don't, are not running into any problems whatsoever. <laughs> but if you play this game in nightmare zone. I promise you, you're going to run into some problems. Alright, so let's go ahead and 
take out this infestation first. I'm going to see if I can back this up without running into that damn cloud. And we're going to go ahead and start tracking parts because that's that's where I think um, Undead, Undead Labs Mr. Mark is, is the sheer amount of resources that you're going to be busting. And um, it's pretty crazy, man. I I'll tell you that right now. It is crazy as heck. They've also there's they also made these uh, subtle changes in um stations are down to a tolerable level. Oh, okay. Well, I'll breathe again. I'll take that. That's a freebie. Um they've also made minor changes to other things in the game that I've noticed. This is just like after playing the game, you know, after uh, update 14, you start playing the game for about 12 hours and you start to really see certain things change like for example the the distance of detection of a non-stealth character that has increased like if you go into crutch you know and you have let's say a character that does not have stuff this character has stealth and she's a driver so she's kind of like um and even with that look these guys these guys saw me So, you know, can you play the game? Sure, the game is playable. There's just a lot of minute changes. And I think I think the effect of these changes are more early in the game. When you first start the game, it's when you really feel the changes. Like, once you have an established community, you can mitigate out all of it. I mean, can you use Daybreak stuff? Sure. That's going to mitigate a lot of the problems, especially if you have a Red Talent Workshop. Oh, yeah, man. That's golden be a golden egg then but let's just say you don't have that or you don't want to use that then you're running into problems if I shoot this gun I'm aggroing everybody oh wait hold on a second why is uh why is my mini map off we're not we're not playing in uh in those rules here that's when I play on stream I do that let me turn that back on. I wanna I wanna see the reverberations. Alright, um I didn't bring a flare, so I'm gonna have to OG this. No, I didn't bring a flare, it's okay. Anyone over there want in? Alright, so we took care of that. And and you're gonna say, well Prime, you know, you you can just uh build a trade depot, get supplies in. Yeah, you can. But we're talking about stuff that most people get mid-game. Well, first of all, you have to be lucky enough to have a trader. Unless you bring a trader in to your game, um, you have to be lucky enough to have one. Looks pretty empty to me. And in most instances, you don't. You know? If you start a game fresh, I mean, if you... If you want to start the game fresh, you, you, you're you going to run into a lot of issues. Oof, you saw that? You saw that big reverberation out of that 9mm? Holy crap, dude. That was crazy. I wasn't shooting 9mm. I was shooting 22s in my, uh, in my playthrough. And um, that was insane. Let's go this way. We got uh, more infestations down the road, so we're gonna go pay them a visit, go say hi to them. And uh, so yeah, they changed the, 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 the detection range, and I've only noticed that because I've been playing with characters that had no stealth, and um, I wasn't that close to a zombie, and it like went into full charge. I mean, I'm like, holy crap! I mean, and and update 13, this would have worked, you know, and the new update. You gotta trust softly with non-stealth characters. That's not that's not a bad change, you know. Same thing, like I said, it's not a bad change for the zombies to do more damage to you. You know, I don't care about that because it. And and prior to update 14, I wasn't hardly taking any damage. You know what I mean? Like I'm not. I don't I don't get hit that often. So even if they do more damage, I mean I gotta really mess up. 
And I'm talking about really mess up for it to matter. Okay, shit. Brian. Brian, you, you're gonna have to give me a second, Brian. Uh, let's try to clear this area a little bit. Let's try to clear this up a little bit. Let's see. Let's see something, guys. Five damage. One damage. I guess I did take a shot earlier, so. Basically, it looks like for every shot I take, it'll be one part. So I think I'll be able to take about... I'm going to take a stab in the dark about 50 shots here with this advanced suppressor. And this gun is... Right? Let me see. Oh, no. It has, it has a decent amount of durability. It might, it might actually make... It might actually make 70 shots. Well, maybe not. Because this character has no mitigation. But uh, let's see what happens. I want to see the reverberation. I've been... There they come. They're going to come now. Reverberations. Come. Now that we've taken out these infestations, right. town doesn't feel quite so fucked. Let's see now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I, it, that wasn't too bad at all. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. I think the big the big damage really comes from those makeshift suppressors. Like I actually don't think that we should be using those makeshift suppressors at all at this point. The amount of damage it does to your gun is astronomical. This advanced suppressor is actually um, doing a lot less damage than I thought it would. And this character, like I said, has no mitigation to firing because she's a gunslinger. She's not a, um, what's it called, a weapons handler, so... She doesn't have the, the minus 25. See, if I use Hagri, that's increased by, by a lot, you know. So again, if you're using like Red Talon, Red, Red Talon mods, <coughs> you're not going to feel the pain. You're really not. You'll be able to mitigate most of it, especially if you're using Red Talons. But let's just say you start the game with nothing bare. I'm, I'm, I'm going to promise you. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. You're gonna feel the pain. Oh damn it! I, I saw it too late. It's my fault. All right, we still got three dudes somewhere. Oh, I see them. They're in there. That's another infestation taken care of. I just want to see the, the damage report here. Really, the damage... I, I, I think the damage mitigator... It's it's only with the... With the what's it called? Suppressors. With the makeshift suppressors. That's where... Where I think it's just... Astronomical amount of damage. Okay, it looks like we need some supplies. Do we have any here? I mean, I can call some in. It's no big deal. So I want to see what kind of supplies I have in this area. It should be uh, food and a bunch of BS. It might be supplies here. Yeah, there is. Um, any more infestations, guys? And the answer is no. We took care of all of them. So yeah, let's go over here and go pick up some supplies. We're going to need supplies, so... I need to start using my CNC machine... Um, real soon. Normally there's supplies here as well. Yeah, here they are. I almost passed this up. I almost messed up hard. Alright, let me, um... I have the cars in, in a good spot. Let's go this way. So, yeah, I was just, uh... You know, I was just kind of caught off guard by, by this patch and, and the nerf. And I just don't think the nerf was necessary, that's all. Nerfing weapons wasn't a good idea. Increasing the damage done to weapons because of makeshift suppressors. Not 
thing. Wasn't a good idea either. I, I think if you look at la, it's something I was talking about. I think it was in my State of the K1 video. I was talking about um, the amount of people that have actually completed a Nightmare Zone run is is a fraction of the community of this game, and it's a and, and we're a small fraction. We're not even the 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 majority of the people don't play this game in Nightmare Zone. You know the, the majority. So. Um, when it comes to Nightmare Zone, I think I saw something that's... I, I'm going to have to really go look at it. Last time I looked at it, I think it was somewhere between 16 to like 19% of everybody that's played this game has completed a Nightmare Zone run. And then less than 1% has completed all four legacies in Nightmare Zone. And that was a few months ago. I don't know because I haven't looked. I think it was like last month I looked. I made a video about it. And um, I, I just thought that that was kind of crazy that um, that few amount of people have actually experienced nightmares. Or maybe they have experienced it, just not completed it because um, it is tough. And with these new suppressor changes, it just got even tougher. No luck in here. You know, it got tougher in the sense that you really have to watch your noise. And you really need to be extra careful. Um, and be mindful of what you're doing. Because you could get pretty smoke checked pretty quick in this game. I think what we're going to do, guys, since it's uh, almost daylight, I'm going to take care of the rest of these plague hearts that are that are visible. See if there's any uh, that are not visible. I think that I only have these three to worry about. And for some reason, we have this enemy enclave here. You know who's going to come out to play. Fine. This situation maybe isn't completely hopeless. They're allies. Who are these guys? We're definitely going to take care, take care of these dudes real quick. So we have this plague heart, this one, and this one. I think those are the last three. We'll go ahead and take care of them and uh, basically uh, get this map primed up for a, a reset. And we're going to go somewhere else. I guess you guys can leave a comment below if you want to go back to Drucker County or Cascade Hills. But I think I'm leaning towards Drucker because uh, I just came back from Cascade Hills to here. And uh, we're going to do a little more looting. Um, after I kill the play cards and um, probably get one more day of looting after the play cards are dead and we'll um, we'll take it from there you know what I mean we'll go to the next map like I said guys I'm gonna continue playing my nightmare zone 100 day challenge um, I'm not gonna stop playing the game I think that these changes to some of us is a minor inconvenience to others is game breaking you know what I mean I mean that's just the spectrum of of uh, the people that play this game you, you have you know you have the casual you know person that oh boy this is bad I'm gonna tell you why it's bad those streamers are gonna bring the pain if I don't take care of them quickly there we go they only got the screen one, so there's only a small chance that we're going to see um, Pharaohs coming this way. Maybe. Not that I'm too concerned. Um, most of these characters I play with, they're, they're all tailored to my play style, you know? The way I play. And um, I got to really, 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 really do some idiotic for it to... Uh, for it to be affected. Okay, who the hell needs? Who, who needs? The townies? Who are the townies? Yo, you guys need a lot of stuff all the time. And since you guys are giving me parts, I'm going to go ahead and bring you this. Not because I like you. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. What do I have? Zombie. There we go. We, I think all we're going to need are three of these. 
and really three of those if I if I land them right it's, it'll be good I'll bring this one just in case I probably end up putting it in the trunk I guess and um, how many bullets do I have probably not enough this character is not ideal to do this with but I'm gonna do it anyway just for the grin um, I can always restock. It's not a big deal, right? I mean, if I if I uh, run across a problem, I have enough outposts to be able to make it make it the changes. All right. So right now, I've used up 20 parts, and I'm just I'm just writing down like all the parts I've used in one in one session, so to give you guys an idea. And this is seven, and we're gonna go ahead and repair everything. I'm just like. Uh, Repair this and repair and repair. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. We're, I'm coming up there to hook you guys up first before I start killing play cards. Because of course, if I don't do it, they're uh, they're gonna catch a cow. All right. So she is a driver, which I highly recommend. This is one of those classes I always highly recommend people to get their hands on. Fifth fifth uh, skill class that doesn't craft anything doesn't do anything but conserves fuel you can make these long drives and watch how much fuel I don't burn going up here it's pretty insane so she also has a, a hero bonus of a uh, minus 25 percent um, of fuel cost to everybody as well so that also stacks on her Fuel consumption so if you guys watch that bar that yellow bar watch how much it doesn't move um, when she drives so the noise reduction as well is pretty gravy train and um, you know just having a driver in general having one is I, I think um, a must-have for anybody running let's say dread or nightmare I dread is, is a little tougher than regular and regular you don't need a driver they're good to have because you save gas but that's about it but there's some some uh, so much abundant materials and the game is so generous with loot and normal mode that you really don't really care about burning too much fuel you know what I mean and like I said once you're you're established a community once you have um, a running economy and you can pump out come on my dudes I'm, I'm getting to you right now you know I just uh, you know it's a long drive and um, you know these missions they give you I think it's like a 30 minute window to complete them and sometimes in some of these maps it's a long drive like here you know And if you run and do something else, by the time you run up to them, you know, it's uh, it's game over. So I'm hoping I can get my hands on these dudes and um, continue their allies. Because I kind of need those parts, man. At the way things are going, um, I kind of need these parts. <laughs> There's no way around it. So, I think um, I think Under Labs was onto something though. Like, I know I've been pretty critical about these suppressors and break stuff, but they were onto something. I I really think um, hey there, stranger, come on. A nine millimeter should make it a little more noise than a twenty-two. But the qu the the thing is, if you look at the circle, look if I shoot, the circle is exactly the same. From, from my, from my 22. I'm limited to listen. Where the hell did you come from, my dude? Who I gotta talk to, old girl? Thanks. Catch and um, uh, like some things just don't change, man. No matter the updates, the NPCs in this game are a bunch of bums. All right, so took a little damage. Still not too concerned about it. Let's go take this plague heart out. Um, 
So they were onto something. I, I think, um, you know, if you have a 22 and you have a, an advanced suppressor on it, you should have a really tight tolerance in terms of like, um, who are the skull crushers and why do I care about them? I don't care. You guys, you guys are not supplying me with nothing and I'm not gonna worry about what you need. All right, I'm gonna worry about killing these damn blood plagues. Cause I'm uh, about had it with them. I need a break from these uh, plague zombies. So I can finish looting this map up and move on. All right. So let's go ahead and go over right here. This play, play cards, and not a difficult one to do, guys. As long as you break this window. We're loaded up. Yeah, we are good. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use the door. What a wonderful smell we've discovered. So the world needs rebuilding, right? We all know that. So what are we waiting for? I say we get to it. Uh -huh. If I if I hit this dead on, there it is. See, it's perfect. If you get if you get a direct hit on the play card, that's the end of it. Of course, we got pharaohs coming, so we'll have to deal with them now. over that's it guys that's uh play card 101 there guys that's what old tack is is doing nowadays to defeat play cards easy enough right all right let's leave this here but i discovered that if you if you land a direct, and I mean a direct hit, on the plate car with a blow the grenade, I mean a blow the gas grenade, that's the end all be all right there. But you gotta land that perfectly. Sometimes it may take two pipe bombs, but if you, you know, your pipe bomb is like off the mark a little bit, or even a pipe bomb, or you can use a fuel bomb and then you'll you'll knock it down. It's probably the fastest way. Not much. If you're looking for speed, <clears throat> if you're looking for efficiency, there's definitely a better ways to do it. But if you want to one tap something, that's how you do it. Well, it technically, it's a two tap, right? Because it's gas grenade, blow the grenade, game over. Um. I don't know where the hell this last part, this last thing is at. I'm not gonna worry about it too much, guys. I'm just gonna go on to the next play card. Really? Oh snap, Timmy! We're gonna do that, guys. We're gonna work on that as soon as I'm done with these uh, last few play cards. I do want to get that uh, that uh, enclave that's mad at us for some reason. Can't remember why. Maybe I that when I was doing that um that video showing you guys the amount of damage done to weapons and stuff. I think it. Oh, this is a this is an easy one, but it could be hard. Should be in that corner right there. Play hard should be in this corner. Should be an easy one if I play this right. If I'm quick now, because I got a damn pharaoh coming. Throw that in there like so, and if I let, get the direct hit, okay, I'm surprised that and blow up. I'm surprised that and not blow up. Take care of that real quick. More screamers! Wow, this is this is called out a party and a half. There is a pharaoh in this area, guys. There he is. That's that's what I was worrying about. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these guys out this way a little bit, so they can come out here and play, and then I'm gonna run through them. Here we go. Should take one more grenade to end this. In theory, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this from the outside part. See if they let me. Ah, 
I knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew they weren't, they weren't gonna let me do it. We're not gonna catch it. We'll be fine. I promise. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, so. What? That play card is still alive? You gotta be effing kidding me, my dude. It should be dead. That's an extra tough one, guys. That one has extra armor. Well, I'm not landing flush on it or something. I don't know what the hell is going on. Because it should be dead. Let's see if I can catty corner this. And the fun continues. Well, I'm definitely going to have to restock on stuff. But it seems like this, uh... They're making this extra difficult today, huh? <laughs> making this, making this extra difficult. Alright, girls. Trying to get some bullets in you. I gotta rest. Yeah, it seems the amount of zombie charges has also been increased dramatically. Whoa, where'd you come from, dude? Nobody's made any noise. He shows up to the party. I should be able to find something good in all this. For real, man. Look at the amount. Look at this. This is it's a good thing I have radar, right? It's a good thing I have radar. Let's line up. Let's everybody have a little fun here. I'm trying to get my stamina back. Wow. Okay, sure, 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 sure. We, we, we definitely, I definitely believe this is true. This is what really is supposed to happen. Come on, game. What else you want to throw at me? Juggernauts? Still a zombie here as well. Almost out. Right, we'll solve that problem. See, the sheer number of, of zombies are increased because of the reverberations that your gun is making now. Cause it used to not be this way. It used to be bam bam and you were done, you know. Them hanging around. But look, it's like um, not only is your gun making more vibrations, but the zombies are also making more vibrations. And if you don't make a circle of trust or antitrust, as I like to call them, you will continue to get zombies, and you um. And that that'll be that'll be the game pretty much in a nutshell for you. I'm not gonna worry about picking that up. Oh, this might be useful. Or that. It's probably the least useful class in my opinion in this game. Craftsman. Trash. Don't see the point. Um all trash. Go here. More trash. I mean, I'm going back to the house. I'm probably going to end up looting most of this. For trade value, I guess. If, I, if I'm stuck up for um, for influence, which I'm not. This is actually pretty useful right here. Let's take the, the ammo. Take that with me. I'll take these plague samples. This... This is actually not a bad pistol with 25 capacity on it. It's actually not bad, guys. This PO7 Pro. 
Not a bad weapon. Not a great weapon, but not a bad one. Wow. Okie dokie. Time to go. Now, my problem... My problem right now is... With this surge right here is that I killed a plague heart. There shouldn't be any zombies. Any red zombies. Within this area, you know. Oh crap, we have a wandering trader. We need to go take a take a look at that. We may have some very useful things. But we're gonna put this character away, guys. No, no, actually, I'll just keep her. I'll just keep playing Kayla. It's no big deal. I actually wanted to um, switch off to a in a makeshift suppressor gun just to kind of show you guys what it will cost if you would run around with a makeshift suppressor. Which, in I mean, in terms of sound, there's no difference between a makeshift suppressor and an advanced suppressor. There's absolutely no difference sound-wise. That's, you know, the only difference between both of them are the amount of damage you're taking. Like right now, I see I, I spent 19 parts on on this particular advanced suppressor. And I shot quite a bit. I didn't keep tabs exactly how many shots I shot. And weapon durability was 5. So I'm just writing all this down because I'm going to tally it up at the end of this episode. And we're going to go ahead and... Take this advanced suppressor out, and we're going to put a makeshift suppressor out. We're going to repair everything up, and uh, I'm going to show you how crazy uh, how crazy the the damage is on um, the difference. You know, it's pretty it's pretty crazy between both guns. Let me fix this one up to 100 percent. And uh, obviously, uh, advanced suppressors are are not bad in terms of damage you can um, work it work around that there's a nice little workaround for that but if you were to use um, this makeshift suppressor that I'm about to use you're gonna feel my pain I'll guarantee you that All right, I'm gonna bring a thermite I mean this this should do it <coughs> man I don't know why I'm coughing like that Still coughing like a. Okay, we're gonna bring a thermite just to, just to put icing on the cake. Um, did I repair this? I sure did. Let's bring a couple extra rounds. I want to take out this um, this last play card basically before I go talk to this uh, talk to this wandering trader. I mean, you're still going to see plague drugs and plague pats, you know, but in terms of, uh, you know, running into a mess of them, you're not going to. It makes looting a little bit easier, which I do want to loot this, this map a little more. There's still some places I want to loot, uh, particularly, you know, being that the game is not that generous in Nightmare Zone in terms of uh, getting our hands on clothing and hats and all that fun stuff. Um, the game is not that generous in Nightmare Zone. Uh, I guess if I really wanted to get these uh, articles of clothing, you know, if I wanted to get them all, I would run in normal mode and just loot. I just hit an invisible rock there. Awesome. Having a play cart move in must really fuck up property values. All right, so let's see how fast I can do this one, guys. I need to put that bloater grenade quickly in here. I need to locate this play cart. Where the hell is it? Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm pretty close to getting the plague, and I didn't do nothing about it. Fantastic. I think it's in the bathroom, guys. Not a hundred percent on it though. It should be in the bathroom. Better be 
careful. Catching the plague would really cramp my style. It's not in here. What the hell is this last heart at? Oh, oh crap! It's in here. That's cool. We're we'll gonna do it this way then. We'll go. Bam. Bam. Surprised I didn't kill it, but it's okay, I guess. No, no, no. You guys need to be nice to me. Come on. I'm expecting a pharaoh to show up any minute now, so... Let's throw the thermite in there. That should do it. That sure left a mark. I should kill it. I mean, it should be pretty hurt. Here's the crazy is that I didn't hear her say this is the last one. So there's definitely another plague heart in this area that... I am not aware of. Seems to always happen. So, that's done and over with. The place looks empty. Let's go. It's not empty though. Hey, Willie Pete. Almost cool there. beans. Another spec op rifle. You know, these guys have got some twinkle toe action going on, zombies, man. These dudes can twinkle toe their way around anything. Alright, so. I don't think I've fired a single shot yet. She is tired, which I was expecting. Not a problem. We're gonna probably switch characters here. We are close to the house. I do want to take a look at this wandering trader. And we, we're not done with play cards. There is one more somewhere on the board. I might even call Red Talon and ask him if they know where it is. Because um, I'll be honest. I don't know where the heck it could be hiding. It's not up there. Um, I'm going to check back here just for the grins. I doubt very much that it's hiding here, but... I haven't really looked back here, to be honest with you guys. And I just want to make sure that it's not back here. Okay, now it's not. Okay. Now we know for sure. Well, we're definitely missing a play harp. And I don't know if the game just likes to do this to me. Because it's funny, you know? But it always seems to do this to me. It always hides a plague heart that I have to go hunting for. Even if I go through the map a hundred times with a Google car, I never find the actual last one. It's done it to me three maps in a row, basically. So yeah, we still have a plague heart somewhere. I don't know where, though. I don't see it on the board. I know I've been around... I've been around the block quite a bit. Alright. We're gonna get the queen involved probably. Probably not. We'll see. She's not a good character to really see what the parts. What's new and horrible today? What's new and horrible? Good question, my dude. I don't know. Right, let's go ahead and put a 50 cal on her. And we will. I know that look, and I do not want you getting sick. And Hagrid actually cares. You saw that? That's a first. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get that going as well. The next thing we also have to do is make sure that my stuff is going off, which, as you guys can see, it's not. And um. How about some what? Zeds may be dead, but they can still hear us. I'll get that going as well. And we can we can put her to sleep. Alright, so it's either between Cobra. We got the last action hero. You know what? Let's do that. Can't wait to check that off my list. Huh. 
get napalm grenades, supply locker. What? What, what are you talking about? We have napalm grenades? We do? Oh, we do. Okay, good. We do. All right, let's go back to that weapon that I was using. And, um... <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It should be this one. Yeah, it has an improvised suppressor on it. <coughs> I didn't shoot it last time, so... There was no way for you guys to see... God, I always do the same thing. There's no way for you guys to see, like, the actual damage that that, that Mesa Suppressor is doing. When you do... When you do it, it it's... It's an eye opener. All right, so everything's fixed up. We brought some extra bullets and some napalm grenades for this mission. Hey people, uh, Zets are gathering, so it's time to head home and fight them off. And we have a surge, guys, so we're gonna have to do that first. We really don't have a choice. We're gonna have a problem with this juggernaut. I tell you that right now. Okay, that's cool because we're gonna have to go in this direction anyway. This will work itself out as soon as we're done with the surge. Hopefully, this is not a. Hopefully, this ain't a cluster F. Let's fucking show them we won't go quietly. It's crazy. They're firing 50 cows, and their reverberation circles are about as big as my circle ours when I fit, when I fire this weapon. That's pretty insane. Where the hell is this juggernaut? At? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, hit him one more time. Come on. There we go. That should be it. That's game over. Watch out, Lindsay. Let me handle this. Wow, that guy fell from the sky? Pretty cool. I spotted a barrel. Screamers are a problem. We need to locate them quickly. There you go. How long is this surge, man? Oh, it's almost over. Yo, fuck these Z's, right? Am I fucking right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, Trimmer. Wow, headshot didn't count. Perfect. We showed those Z's what happens when you fuck with us. All right, so we do have a lot of influence, as you guys can see. And uh, we really need to do something about that ASAP. So I'm not going to do his mission first. I'm actually going to run over to the vendor, see what I can get my hands on. First, because um, if I don't spend this influence, I'm going to kick myself in the foot. So let's do two things here. Let's go for a trader. And I believe we're low on supply, so we're going to call that trader first. Oh, hell no. Hold on. That's going to take away the trader? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. My bad. Let's, let's, let's find out what this is about first. So... We'll do that first. Then I need to call, obviously, a bunch of traders. Because uh, in the last uh, last episode, I spent a crap load of supplies um, 
basically fixing weapons and making bullets and I, I used up a lot of surplus basically which is fine because as you guys can see I have a surplus of influence and again this goes back to what I was saying in the beginning of the episode that it doesn't matter um, what the cost is as long as you can make influence and you have a trade depot you're always going to be golden in this game but to get to that point is the hard part once you have a trader and then you can build a trade depot then you can start splurging a little bit once you can get the influence cracking in you know coming in at a good clip then you can kind of play the game however you want but to get to that point man to get to that point is very painstaking Here's the kick here's the kicker bro. I do not know where this last play heart can be. Cause I've been through all this map at least three times. And I haven't run across the damn play card, which is very strange. So I'm wondering where the hell this last one is at. It's probably right in front of my damn face. I might have to make an active effort to grab that play card probably in the next episode because we're probably going to run out of time here in a little bit. Unless I can spot it now. Old dude's not in here. I would have saw him for sure if he was there. So no, he's not there. Check over here. No, Trader's not here as well. Go this way. Just wondering whether I, this last play card really has me baffled, man. I know I've looked through all these uh, milks and crannies of this map. All right. I, okay, I was about to say. Where's this chick at? Sorry, buddy. Little bit. See if you're. See if you're even worth it. No, you're not. That's not nice, Mr. Plague Zombie. This is Termer. Okay, I think this is a actual Riz. Come on, my dude. What are you doing? Okay, you gotta always touch me, Timmy. You gotta hit Timmy one time. <clears throat> Come here, Rich. So, you ready to start dealing? Sure. Hell yeah. Well, definitely gonna buy these because uh, I want to switch. Obviously, I it might even be Timmy. He might go uh, close quarter combat. So we're definitely buying that. We're buying this as well because why not, right? <clears throat> Have the influence? Why not at this point? Let's uh, put this. Uh... Oh man, are you serious? I forgot to offload. You gotta be effing kidding me. Anything? This chick got anything else worth talking about? So you ready to start dealing? Um, not really. She doesn't have. Oh, this is the golden vulture. That's that new gun that I'm never gonna fire in Nightmare Zone because of uh, the quietness. Oh, well, that's a new gun. I don't think I have it. Um, not that I'm collecting guns or anything like that. Yeah, this would have been nice to buy, but I can make that, so that's not a big deal. I have a CNC machine. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll be all right. This this is fine. I got those two books out of this deal. Let's do this. Let's call in a, um, we'll start with a materials trader, and then we'll, we'll make our way back to the house to make the trade now, guys. After, 
After the last section, hero. The only problem I'm having right now, guys, is that um, I am not light conditioned, so I can't kind of like sprint my way back to stamina. So I have to be very careful. <clears throat> you can augmentate it with the stems, which is fine. But I gotta remember that I'm not gonna get my stamina back by running away. So I just have to personally uh, keep telling myself that, you know. Travel to the old mill and find something worth exploding. Okay. Oh, look. Are you serious? This is a, the, the last play card. Dude, I've been here before. I should have... What the fudge? Alright, this is gonna get... Real interesting really quick here. I need a break. Yep, see? I have to... I have to pop this now. Don't fix things. I quit. Huh. This is interesting. I didn't expect this. But that's okay. We'll um, we'll see what we can do. You know, if we have a bloater in there, that may. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. How close is he to the play card? Not that close. The yeah, play card's over here. Yeah, there it is. I did bring enough bullets for this, but is the gun gonna hold up? Is the question. believe I did that. That was stupid. I knew it was there too. This was hilarious. Okay, well that's that. I'm sorry, are you hurting? We'll have some more. Oh come on. <laughs> come on, Timmy, you kidding me my dude? You can't get up there? Oh okay, I knew you could. No, no, no. We don't wanna do that. We wanna try to Set that ablaze. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. Well, that worked out. Down to my last one. Took a lot of damage in this. But I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting a play hard. I thought this was going to be a. Um, I don't know, just a simple kill some zombie thing. Didn't expect this for sure. Almost out of that. Can't carry anything. Well, I can now. I can carry something. That'll be it. Let's go, Timmer. We're already on the heavy conditions, so there's no point in beating around the bush, right? So, unintentionally, I, uh... I killed the last plague heart. <laughs> unintentionally. And I believe I completed Timmy's, uh, quest as well, so... He should have a permanent, like, bonus to morale, I believe. That's how it works. It's not like a break the bank type of morale, but nevertheless, it's morale. And I did get to pop off this 9mm a little bit more than I did with Kayla. And I did it with that makeshift suppressor, so we're going to check the damage here in a little bit. I know I had whatever was on the mag which I believe is 16 bullets plus two plus two clips so that's 
Um, Sixty plus ten is seventy. Plus six is seventy-six total bullets I had. It's just I'm trying to gauge it. I, I, I kind of already know what the damage is gonna be in all reality, but you know, I already kind of know. That should call the rest of these guys to come over. That reverberation there, that zombie to the right. Definitely call some more friends. Here they come. And there goes my car I just fixed. I just fixed my car. I forgot I'm under heavy conditions. I need to uh, get rid of this stuff. I forgot about that. Careful. Yeah, well, he better be careful with me. Put that back on, take that off. Okay, now now Timmy's in good good fighting weight now. Now we can play. Um look at that guys. I, I popped off uh let me see, I got 30, 31 rounds out of the possible 76. So basically half of what I brought in the gun is at 31. So with the Make 6 Suppressor, the increase of damage is pretty significant. But we already knew that. That's not new. But the, the muffling of, of the makeshift suppressor, advanced or pro is the same. So. Alright, so we are making that much food. And we're making a lot of meds, which is a good thing. We are low on supplies, but we just called the vendor, so we sh Timmy should be hooking us up here in a second. I just need to find this damn vendor. There you are. Where are you, my dude? There we go. This here's a real stand up bunch of zombie stoppers. And like I said, you know, you could technically augmentate everything you have by just having one of these trade depots. And your concerns will melt away as long as you can continue you want, you your flow of influence. Here, but let's just say you're struggling for influence, like you will be in the very beginning of the game. Um, it changes the whole dynamic of the game on how you, okay. how you can play the game. And beginning mode is way different. You're obviously gonna have to play with a crossbow. You, you obviously don't want to use any kind of bladed weapons or any kind of blunt weapons. There's a lot of things you obviously don't want to do because you're. You're going to be hurting for parts. And you're going to be hurting for supplies. Until. So, you ready to start the You can do this. Yeah, Until you can you can build a trade depot. You're going to be struggling, I promise you guys. I've been playing in um, my other community and um that's one thing that I'm like really struggling with this. Sounds like someone at the base wants to trade. It's getting parts, you know. Getting parts to build stuff, getting, um, you know, you need parts to build grenades, you need parts to build firebombs, you need parts to make meds, you need parts for everything. And on top of all that, the, the weapon durability costs and everything else is up by a significant amount. So, at the end of the day, you're hurting for everything, you know. And it kind of like, what it does is it, it slows down the curve of how your progression is in the beginning of the game which you know I'll be honest the funnest part of this game is the beginning when you have nothing when you're like decked out like this then it just becomes um, it, it becomes kind of like autopilot mode but in the beginning though it, it okay, it's tough man all right so we're definitely gonna buy all this from old dude 
Because like I said, we have plenty of influence, so why why not, right? Let's uh, throw this here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not gonna need that for now because we're not fighting. We're just uh, let me make you an offer. We're just doing our trade stuff, so our influence is down to 5k, which is fine. I'm not gonna let my influence go down below 3,500 because. Um, wherever we move next, I'm gonna need a little bit of influence. We're gonna make some too while we're here, killing some infestations and and stuff like that. So it's not that big of a deal. So you ready to start dealing? All right. Uh, we, we don't need any of this stuff, so he can actually go fly a kite. Now the next thing we need are, are bullets. So let's let's call another trader in and let's get some ammo. And let me go check the, the trunk of these cars. We have some ammo there. We have some ammo there. We have some supplies as well, which is interesting. And plenty of fuel. Let's just throw that in there. How much supplies can we hold? Uh, meds. Ammo, materials, sturdy. Okay, we're almost capped. All right, so we don't need to build any bullets, guys. So let's get the CMC um, going. Because I need to, like I said, make up for all those parts I blew doing my test. Which I'm kind of done testing. I, at this point, I already know what's what and what i can get away with and what i can't get away with in the game so you know we're just gonna play the game by the rules that are given to us although i don't agree with them we're still gonna finish strong you know we're gonna we're gonna finish what we started i haven't seen the day ticker go off yet so i don't even know what day it is um i have no idea what day it is dude If you guys got a way to, to tell what day it is any other way, please leave a comment below. But uh I got a feeling you and me can do business. I don't. Oh, We're definitely gonna right. buy that. We're gonna take that. I guess this guy's gonna make old Timmy run run back and forth because he wants to stay out there in the open. Put that in there like so. I should be able to carry like 40 something ammo. I ain't crazy. Let me see. Yeah, 48. So we can technically um, <clears throat> put this next rough sack in there with no issues. And then we can also just put the other rough sack in the trunk of the car and then we'll be in business. So, yeah, guys. Um, Am I happy? Uh, no, not happy. Am I gonna keep playing? Of course, I'm gonna keep playing. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, dedicate this much time to this playthrough to just walk so, away from it. Like Am I gonna play a new playthrough? I don't know. That that's up in the air. I guess you know we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I mean, I talked to a couple of my. Uh, uh, of, of the people that watch me on live stream and I asked them some questions about what they're interested in watching because some of you guys are also here on YouTube as well and everybody was interested for me to start with a single character um, you know single character start under Brian Maynard's uh, rules and uh, I said okay cool well, I can do that, you know. I can do that. I, I have a pistol only going thing in, in, in Twitch. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. That's uh whew, that's that's tough. It's not easy. So I'm I'm gonna play with Brian's rules with all the weapons that I can possibly use. And no carryovers, none of that stuff. And it'll be like a 365 day challenge. If I decide to do it though, uh, Underlabs has to do some of these rules, which 
I forgot to mention, I saw on their Twitter feed that they're working on a on a hot fix to fix these suppressors. They know they messed up. That's what that's what they wrote on there. They were like, we messed up. So that's um that's a promising thing right there. I mean, they don't need to like they don't they don't need to like scale back the suppressors a whole lot. I think um, right around where they were at in Nightmare Zone was was okay. You know, you want to make it a little bigger for a higher caliber. You know, add another couple meters of, of range per you know per per caliber weapon. They can do that. That's not that's not gonna be a big deal. My biggest complaint is not even the suppressors or the brakes. My biggest complaint is the amount of parts that you're consuming per usage. Look at that, 31, 31 parts there. Nine, nine parts there, and this guy doesn't have any mitigations. So, um, at the end of the day, I got 70, 42, 68, negative 20, negative 7, 19, negative 5, and 31 in parts. And we've been playing for an hour. Now, granted, some of those, some of the uh, higher numbers that I got the 70 and 68 were from the two swords. Um, that I repaired earlier and uh, the weapon that I repaired as well was jacked up so um, I think I threw one of the swords away so that that's that's just give you guys a brief overview on how many parts you can consume in Nightmare Zone um, you know if you play the game and you see my parts are at 1664 that's because I brought in a parts vendor and and bought you know the parts that it had and Obviously, I've been also doing uh, this as well while we were playing. I, I, I started salvaging the weapon. So that, that helps a great deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair. See, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and repair this as well. Just to have everything, you know, copacetic when I leave. We're going to start working on that. And, uh, you know, I think they know they messed up, guys. I think they're they're going to they're gonna fix it. And uh, I, I just, you know, I, I don't see, I don't, I never saw the point of, of the whole break and the whole suppressor thing. I, I just didn't, I didn't understand that. Still don't understand it. I just hope it gets better and uh, Under Labs uh, has a change of heart and changes everything over to the way it was. As you guys can see, the game is still playable. You can still play the game. It's just a... Uh, you have to deal with more sound penalties. That's all. And I didn't use any of the echo weapons because, uh, oh yeah, what will we be asking? Let me show you guys something real quick before I leave because I was about to log off, but I, there's something I wanted to cover. If you want to stay smart in this game and stay ahead of the game, this is one of those guns, the critical response uh, guns right here. You can use that. That's a good one. And any of the echo weapons that are internally suppressed. So I'm gonna, I, I have these two right here. I'm gonna, and even this one, I'm gonna show you guys something. This is a uh, real important. So if I was to shoot this weapon, watch, watch the circle, right? This is the baseball field. I'm gonna shoot over there. We'll see how far it goes. You saw that almost to the toilet. And I'm gonna move on until I get to the toilet. Cause that way we have a, a good assessment all right that is touching the toilet building the bathroom okay and that's with a, a makeshift suppressor let's fire an echo weapon watch this see how much smaller the circle is so this is what a suppressor used to be like in in nightmare mode this is what a suppressor a makeshift suppressor is look how huge that is and you're gonna say well you know that's because it's a makeshift suppressor, Tactus, Congrexus Prime. This is a, uh, this is a, uh, you know, this is the, this is the way, you know. I'm gonna say, okay, cool. I'm gonna agree with you there. Let's pick the best suppressor you can possibly put your hands on. Let's put that on. Let's go back to right here, to the lawn chairs. This is what I was about shooting. Look how big that circle is. This is an advanced suppressor. This is crazy. It's the same. As using this look same exact sound difference it makes no sense dude but if I wear an echo weapon it's much smaller see that 
It's much more manageable, much more tighter tolerance. And you can you can run around with that or you can run around with this one right here, the critical response pack, the, the police one. See? Much tighter tolerance. Much more reasonable is what I'm saying. So anything that's internally suppressed is what what you can use in Nightmare Zone right now and still kind of play with the old Nightmare Zone sound buffer. Anything externally suppressed is utter trash. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys because, um, you know, it's something I found very interesting. I know there's been two YouTubers that have covered this. I'm just throwing it out there for those of you guys that may have not watched their stuff. I mean, you might have watched it. Mm -hmm. But I found that very interesting that um, that the, those are the weapons that you can use in Nightmare Zone. Anything Echo Series, that police internally suppressed weapon. I want to say that the World War II weapon, if you still have the one gun that's internally suppressed as well, one of the grease guns i think it works the same way as well i don't have it in this community so i can't test that but i'm pretty sure everything that's internally suppressed still operates under the old rules and it's just the external suppressors that they they dropped the banana on so uh let's put this guy ready for home defense and uh that's about all i got for now guys thank you so much for the support to share the likes uh brian this is a big shout out to you. I know this is the end of the video, but thanks so much for dropping by my stream and, and supporting me and dropping a sub. That was that was super cool, my dude. I appreciate it, man. Um, again, and, and thank you guys for um, supporting me as well here and YouTube, watching my stuff and uh, for the for the subs, the likes, the comments. Some of you guys leave some hilarious ass comments, and uh, I appreciate it. it. Brings a smile to my face. Uh, that's all I have. Light, love, and peace. Congrexes. Out.